There are a couple other terms you should be familiar with. One is called white privilege, and the other is white fragility, which are related. These are tough concepts for people who think of themselves as white. If you say, I am privileged because I am white, that's like saying I don't deserve what I have, that I was given things rather than having to work for them, and that's hard for anyone to handle. The normal reaction is, no, I had to work for what I have. You don't understand all that I had to go through. You don't understand the struggles that I went through. What I have now, I have because I deserve it. And the next step is to say, oh, and those who don't have what I have don't deserve it because they didn't work as hard as me. That's the white fragility concept. It's the defensiveness over the reality of white privilege. Attribution theory, meaning how I defend my ego by attributing motives to others, tells me that I succeeded because of my own efforts and you failed because you didn't try as hard as me. But if I failed, if I didn't get a job, for instance, then it's because somebody else got favored treatment, not because of my abilities. If a black or a woman got a job rather than me, it's because of affirmative action quotas. That's the rationalization that comes naturally to many people. How can I see my privilege? It's pretty easy for non-whites to see my privilege because they're very aware of how they've had to deal with being treated differently. But how can I see that? How can I see that when I go to the bank or to the store, nobody thinks twice about me as long as, as I'm in a white majority community. People treat me as an individual and not as a white person. I can never see my privilege outside of the discrimination that others have to deal with. If I get pulled over by the police because I was speeding, crap, I'm gonna have to pay some money. Not, oh my God, I hope I don't get shot. How can I know how that feels? My privilege also extends to you know, my, my male gender. For instance, without thinking, I will go for a walk to my car in a big parking lot, even in the evening. I don't even think about it. What's the big deal? I, I, it doesn't, I just walk into my car. I can never feel what my wife feels and thinks about when she makes that walk. There's no question that I'm privileged. That doesn't make me a bad person. I am what I am. What I can affect is that fragility. I'm not defensive about my privilege. I see it, I admit it, and I can understand that others have to walk a different walk. That doesn't make them good or bad, just a different path. As a public manager, you're likely to have a workforce of many different kinds of people. That's the reality of diversity. And if you want to manage effectively, you have to understand what your employees are dealing with. If you want to manage productively, you have to figure out how this diverse group of people can work together productively. If you're white, denying the privilege of whites will not help you work effectively with non-whites. And if you're non-white, telling people who are white that they're privileged will not earn you any friends. Most everybody is going to deny their favored advantage they're privileged. These are the things you have to think about as a manager. How people understand their world. This class is not about saying who is right and wrong. It's about understanding your employees so you can better accomplish your organizational and leadership goals. After this mini lecture, since there's not an assignment, I want you to think about spending six to seven hours on the readings we have this week. There's a lot of them. Take your time to do that. Devote that time. Manage your time. I'm not telling anybody to work more than those 12 hours a week. I'm saying within that framework, spend the time on, this, on these readings. There's some really good and challenging topics. Um, take the time to think about them and think about what you read and viewed. 
during the week, engage in discussion board and share your experiences and awarenesses with who you are, why and why you are that way. And in your reflective journal entry on Sunday night, you can be more personal as you think about the readings and how they do or do not apply to your life. You can get angry at me, you can tell me how I'm wrong, I'm fine with that. So I look forward to seeing your thoughts on discussion board and in your journal. Thanks.